Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Al's Air Guns. I wanted to do a real quick unboxing. This just got delivered in the mail today. And I've wanted to do something on this site for a while. This is what may be the most popular um, dot site on the internet these days. And let's go ahead and get this out of the box here and take a look at it. The reason I bought this is I already own one of these, the Thayachi dot site. And this is a red-green dot site that has multiple reticles. And I have found it to be reliable and incredibly frugal on its battery usage. Now, it does have some shortcomings that I can mention quickly, but um, overall, you know, I was on Amazon the other night shopping for some other things, and they were having a flash sale on this. It was... Um, 24 or $26, depending upon color. And, you know, I went ahead and sprung the extra two bucks for the Desert Tan. And because I wanted to be able to differentiate it from the black one that I own. And these sites move around between guns a lot for me. And I wanted to be able to let one be more dedicated to a particular gun while I do extended testing on it. So I very much wanted a second site. Advantages. Got some really cool reticles in here. Although I personally tend to use the smallest dot available and stick on that one. Advantage, red and green. Uh, green being much better often for daylight conditions. And it is adjustable all the way up to five levels. So it's an adjustable sight, pretty darn bright. I've not ever found it to not be bright enough. And I leave, it, it's not one that falls asleep. And of course, those are available now, but they tend to be more expensive. But I've left this thing on overnight before and left it, or actually my other one that I own, and left it on for many hours at a time. And I've yet to kill the battery. So it is very frugal when it comes to battery. Maybe different reticles cost more to support, I don't know, in terms of battery power. I use the small dot on a low setting typically, and the battery lasts seemingly forever. So, you know, when I get something like this for 26 bucks, um, that to me is an incredible value. You know, for a long time they were in the mid-30s and still are, but some of them have dropped even further. Now, it does have a pick style interface, so if you're on a dovetail mount, you will need to use an adapter for it. Other cons, potentially. The adjustments on it are reliable, but not precise. When you adjust it, it stays put, but when you're adjusting it, it it's not crisp. Um, it, it feels a little bit like you're, you're poking a button with a rubber pole. Um, so, you know, adjusting it is not an incredibly pleasant experience, if you have adjusted more high-end sites like Millet or, or you know, some of the other good, good site manufacturers. But um, once it's adjusted, it stays put. And I adjust this thing all the time, moving it between guns. So, I mean, I really can't complain that much. But the user experience in terms of click-click when you're making adjustments is, yeah, a little nebulous. And... Like I say, when it's on point, it, it remains where you set it, but it's not yeah, super crisp in terms of adjustment. Um, other shortcomings, potentially, um, it does change the point of impact when we change the pattern of the reticle we're displaying. So you can't just switch between reticles and assume you're going to maintain the same point of impact. That is something that you have to adjust when you switch reticles, which is one of the reasons I always leave it just set up on a basic dot. Okay, in addition to, oops, sorry about that, let's stabilize the camera. In addition to the site itself, it does come with a lens protector. Just slides on and off quite easily. And also in the box, we get a couple of batteries. That's very nice. And little instruction set. 
which of course it is pretty straightforward. Very nice. We get a lens cloth and we also get a couple of Allen keys to do any necessary adjustments. So it looks like if there are two keys, it might be slightly different than the site I have right now. This could be an updated version. I will go ahead and look at it, find out what that extra key is about. And um, we'll put it on a gun and try it out. Hey, thanks a lot for tuning in on this, and we will see you on the next one.